Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the survival map. We have a bit of a different perspective today. Um, and I also, I do have plans, so this should be a good episode. But I have been messing around with the, with the new first person camera controls. And uh, like, this is just so fun to mess around with. This is the OG scar right here. And it's just so like awkward to see it used like this, if that makes any sense. Like, ah, this is just so fun to mess around with. I thought the flapjack rifle was kind of funny looking. <laughs> and it's so clear so many of these weapons were not meant to be used in this way. Like the, the primal rifle, like, come on. I thought the mechanical bow was pretty fun. Hold on. Let me run away here from the, the evil creatures. Oh, gosh. I did have to do a little bit of bug fixing. It was nothing too, too major, though, from what I experienced from my brief little testing period. Uh, some of the sound effects were just a little off, and it, it was nothing major. I basically just had to replace the devices. It took me, like, 10, 15 minutes. Oh, man, it's so weird to run around the map like this. <laughs> Oh my god. But hey, if you guys really want it, I will add first person to this map once it eventually releases someday. Here, look, I can add it under the settings board here. Like, I can add, like, a first person mode or something. I don't know. Maybe that would be cool. I can't actually add it into the map yet, but it's not like this map is gonna come out anytime soon anyway. Sorry, guys. I know. I know. Oh yeah, and in my last creative video, um... God, I'm, I'm still not entirely used to it. I said this menu was pretty bad, but I gotta tell you, it's not that bad. It's just weird having the categories over here on the side instead of up top. But I guess it's like technically better. I, I, I can, I can, I can get used to it. Huh. Oh, they added this since when? Comfy chair. Sit. Oh my, why can't I let me off? Yo, this is crazy. What? Like, what is all this stuff, bro? Message feed device. What? I, I can put stuff in the in the message feed? A lot of a lot of this stuff I've I've like seen, but like zip line, placeable ledge. What the heck? What is an input trigger? Sends a signal when a valid player presses or releases the defined imp. That is so cool. Oh my god. As you might have saw in the title today, we're gonna be working on the moon. Now, I don't know how far I'm gonna get in working on the moon. I just kind of wanted to make a survival map video. I'm being completely honest with you. So, how this is gonna go is I'm just gonna make a little layout of the path I want the moon to take. Um, that has to be blocked at all times um, because uh, for, for obvious reasons, we don't want players seeing floating water in the distance. <laughs> and the good thing about the moon is that we can kind of go a little crazy. As you can see up top, uh, there's basically no memory usage. So you can go kind of hard. So yeah, I'm gonna be working on this a bit and I'll see you um, when I got a good majority of the layout done. Okay, everybody, so this is actually a few days in the future. Um, I spent the rest of the time the other day trying to fix the, the, the speaker audio device. Remember I mentioned earlier in the episode, but every time I reload the map, it just ends up breaking again. And it's getting to a point where I'm afraid the map just won't have sound design. The radios work, so at least the areas have music, but like, see this, look. Like, it, th there's no sound playing. If I want sound to play, I have to change a setting and then change it back. See, now it plays. It got to the point where I was like, hey, maybe maybe there's just too many speaker devices. So I condensed everything into just these two right here. So the, the, the craft sound effect whenever you build or, or make something and the explosion sound whenever you clear a pathway with, with blast powder, right? But I mean, they just, they don't work. So if anyone has a solution to that, please tell me in the comments. Um, But I feel like I, I, I've tried so many things at this point and nothing works. I had this this problem in the past too. Like this isn't a new thing, which is really unfortunate because I, I think a main problem with, with Fortnite creative maps is sound design. There, there, there's not enough little data and, and, and do's and sound effects whenever you do something. Anyway, <laughs> this is what I came up with um, for the layout of the moon. Like I said earlier in this series, the moon isn't going to be the, this this big place, okay? It's going to be a smaller area. And over here, th this path that goes down a bit, there's going to be a little cave or dungeon 
of some sorts, okay? And in there is where the player is gonna find Shadow Shard, which is the, the moon's like rare resource, right? But out here, in all these other pathways and in this little field area, the player's gonna be able to find Quartz. So yeah, it's a pretty linear area. It's gonna have these walls that kind of enclose everything in on itself, but it's gonna look really cool. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take like a chunk of this and with this, I'll just like copy and paste it everywhere and I can clean it up after. Oh, I'm definitely gonna have to set up borders. Look at this, you can just climb up. <laughs> uh oh, I'm gonna just place the, these bushes around like this. And then some of these little details, sprinkle them in, boom. We'll put like this guy here. And then we'll put a few of these plants. So I'm gonna go and build a lot of this. And then we can go and add little details here and there afterwards. And that'll be a little more interesting to watch, <laughs> I hope. So I'll see you when I see you again. I don't know. Okay, so I was building out uh, this this sort of middle middle area of, of rocks, right? And I realized something. These pieces are actually bugged. So... So if if they're above a certain level, they appear as they're supposed to be. But if they don't appear above that level, they they, they, they look like they're wet and, and, and they're touching water or something, right? So if I move this down just a little, see the, like the split there. So I guess I'm just gonna have to avoid making this this thing too tall, right? Which I mean is fine. Like like this looks good anyway. But it's still kind of annoying. Like I, I can't I can't really create like that big of a scale because if I do, it's gonna it's gonna look a little weird. Okay, so. So as you can see, I was able to finish pretty much all the all the walls and the borders and uh, the nature and stuff. And I'm really happy with how this came out. Um, once you're down on the ground here, ignore all like the borders. But when you're actually like down on the ground, it looks really cool. And I think for what I was able to do without, you know, being able to, to go up here because because of that little bug there. For what I was able to do, I think it looks really good and it's going to be real immersive once we get more stuff to do in here. Um, we add all like the the materials the quartz, but something that I, I really do want to do is add some sort of particle effect because everything's looking very still right now Which I guess would make sense because it's the moon and it, it, it it's a different environment but That doesn't mean we have to follow the laws of nature So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fly back here and grab a particle effect and alter it a bit and 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 really make the moon look cool with particles and I really just want like an atmospheric sort of particle effect to kind of set the mood so I'm gonna up the spawn zone size like quite a bit let's make this like like five or I guess four is the max so yeah na now now they're kind of floating all over the place the sprite size is way too big let's make this like one yeah I think that that works a little better and I still think it's 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 generating a bit too much bit too much just a bit you know what i think that's pretty good yeah see and, and and when you're running around these particle effects they're gonna spawn just a little bit it's gonna it's gonna just feel right <laughs> you know so let's place this all around and it just it really adds to the vibe you know there's a little movement um uh, even though like it's, it's not that much something that makes the the environment a little more interesting okay so particles have been placed around uh i have went and placed Warts. And I also made uh, this alternate blue particle. You can see it here. And I'm just going to go around and, and place this just so it's a little more diverse, <laughs> I guess. Now, the last thing I want to do is add my little uh, funny bits and gags here and there. Uh, let's grab the sign. Let's grab this trash pile and my good old friend, the fire hydrant. We'll grab him too. <laughs> now I just got to go in the game and test to see if if all these things work, which like they should, but let's see. Let's talk to fire hydrant. How are we able to breathe? Whatever, don't question it. <laughs> oh, I love these little stupid things I'm adding. These zombies are scary, by the way, they run. So, well, as scary as Fortnite creative zombies can get. <laughs> oh gosh, don't you have other things to worry about right now? Yes, I'm currently being attacked by a man. These guys hurt, by the way. Like this guy will will kill me if 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 he hits me. But they're really slow, so that that's kind of like the gimmick, I guess. Welcome to the moon. Nobody is friendly around here. Nobody. Yeah. Most mo most things aren't, it seems. Now the only thing left to do is to add the sky dome. To 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 make everything look space. We got the sky dome, we got the particles going. 
It's looking really cool. I have a plan for this open area. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, okay. But yeah, guys, that's gonna have to be it for this video. So uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one.